Hi guys, I want to recommend Weather War 101's video on the Thomas Fire, man-made disaster, satellite images pick up something unnatural. Right, this fire was not natural. Not natural. And Weather War has captured several images where Directed energy weapons were used. Something happening with these fires. I want to read some comments below my videos. Comments that, well, I could be living back in, you know, eight weeks ago. Reading comments from subscribers who were from Northern California. Now I'm reading subscriber comments from subscribers from SoCal. Are you getting tired of this, watching people go down? Are you getting tired watching this kind of destruction? It's hard to take. Very hard to take. And I, well, if you're somebody who feels, and I guess cares for other people that you don't even know, it is very hard to take. Think about, think about the hundreds of thousands of Americans who are still suffering Hurricane Harvey, still suffering the, uh, the consequences of the Northern California fires. And now we have Southern California. And some people left comments about smart meters. And I have to tell you, I am rethinking, or not rethinking, but thinking smart meters have something to do with these fires based on the pictures that I will show you in a second, but I live five or so miles from where this event was at 10 o'clock at night. I drove to Santa Coy to check it out, and then they cut the power from Camarillo to Santa Barbara. These are similar comments that I read from subscribers who live near the fires in Northern California. The power out. The fire starting at night. Many believe that the power was cut. So you have so many people who have to evacuate at night and they don't have phone privileges. But this commenter went on. It is 5G microwave winds. Trust me, there is a humming and electricity in the air. 49 years here. It is not normal. People don't get it and won't. Sad world, sad situation. The winds are still howling. Never in December. Never. It's December. Can't blame these fires on the heat. People are saying the winds caused the fires. I heard reporters talking about, or no, it was a fire official talking about how they put out, I don't know how many, but it was in, I don't know, 20, 30 fires. So now we have all of these fires that are isolated. Uh, I don't know, the winds, the flying embers, starting fires that they're putting out. But this is exactly what happened in Northern California. Comments like this. Ever thought God's judgment is being carried out? No, actually. I only have those thoughts in relation to reading comments from Christians who have these thoughts. And I have to wonder about those Christians who have these thoughts. California is one of the most God-hating states. I want to read this response. I think these evil people are using the Bible like a playbook. They know the Bible better than most Christians. They are doing this with their energy weapons. I have to agree. And another person responded, God has nothing to do with this. The satanic government is doing all of this. But another response, yeah, I did think that. California has the absolute highest density of child molesters, rapers, gays, and political criminals in the world. It's intense when the sodomy is the least of our worries. It is the least of mine except when a child is being sodomized. But 
Um, an, uh, another response to that response that I just read. These sodomites in Hollywood are disgusting, but they are all over the world. They want us to believe it's the worst there. So, because these fires are happening in Southern California, there are Christians who believe that God is causing this. Tell me something. Do you really believe it, the God that you believe would bring about such destruction to, well, innocent people who live in this area to get rid of the sodomites in Hollywood? To get rid of those who hate him? Is he really that vengeful in your mind? What about all of the Christians in this area? Do you think that there are none? And there's a comment that, well, it's the kind of comment that I have received, that I've seen, that I've heard my life long. You know, an earthquake in San Francisco. God's punishment. Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah. And yes, Deborah Tavares did warn us, warn us back in 2013. You know, there are so many who are awake and still believing that God is doing this when it is incredibly evil, sick, psychopathic people who are taking out Americans, killing them, destroying them, destroying their homes with these weather weapons, with this directed energy, with these fires to reshape this country into these mega regions. They even know about Agenda 2030, but they still are believing that it's God doing it. Okay, this comment, I don't know. I am wondering what if war has already began and we don't know. I'm not being harsh. I honestly don't know. It's so difficult to wrap our heads around our own attempting to kill us. It's not difficult for me to wrap my head around that. I have lived evil up close and personal my entire life. I know what evil can do. And evil destroys life. Goodness enhances life. And yes, we are at war. We have been at war for a very, very, very long time. And they use this technology against us. The microwave frequencies, the electromagnetic frequencies that are causing an awful lot of medical problems for millions of Americans. They're bringing us down with this saturation of these dangerous frequencies, saturated 24-7. They use technology to steer, manipulate, modify, intensify, create weather events that destroy people, kill life, destroy homes, they can use technology to create tornadoes, to take out whole towns. They use the technology to create rain for four days and flood hundreds of thousands of homes in Texas. And if, well, not enough homes were flooded, they send in the Army Corps of Engineers to release the reservoirs to flood out more homes. Or they blow up levees 
to flood prime farmland. That in 2011 in Missouri. And then we have our government agencies go in to buy up that property for pennies on a dollar or people like George Soros. We are at war. It's an unconventional war. It's just different weapons being used. But because these weapons cause what so many people believe are just natural events, you can't get through to Americans to even look into it. No, it's just not happening. So more and more get destroyed over and over and over again. I lived in Southern California for most of my 66 years. These aren't normal Santa Ana winds. They're more like Santana winds. You can examine any weather service or mainstream media forecast, forecast and see how the high pressure system is being manufactured. And other comments. Um, from people who live in the area. Seriously, Ventura just got smart death meters installed on our homes in July. I bet you can measure the time from when the death meter is installed until the dew comes out, well, the directed energy weapon comes. Our smart meter house and the entire surrounding neighborhood has been evacuated. The news guy on ABC7 showed a melted car next to a palm tree. My hunch is they meant to say next to a palm tree that was still standing and fine, but the car was gone. He kicked the melted stream of metal and you could hear it clang. And then they quickly cut him off and cut to a different journalist reporting on saving horses. Another journalist accidentally said, as these homes are targeted for direct uh, destruction, you know, by these magic flying embers, and they keep saying the fires exploded, 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 and they're hearing loud booms from the propane tanks, quote unquote, in people's homes. We just moved away from there in Ventura, and three of our friends have lost everything. Was the mermaid mafia's friends sodomites? Were they God hating? Or were they just God's um, collateral damage? There are four separate huge fires now in different counties. Let the homos and the rich men burn. Gotta love those Christians, huh? Let the homos and the rich men burn. I, for the life of me, do not understand how any Christian could leave a comment like that. How anybody can call them a Christian and leave a comment like that. Do you not care about all of the people who are not homos and not rich? Do you not care about all of the wildlife being burned up in this area? Burned to death? To die in such a horrifically painful manner, you don't care about them. Just let the homos and rich men burn. Scares me. I'm not gay or rich, and I'm a 10 mile drive from this fire. You good with me burning too, I guess. Yeah, I guess, you know. When your compassion, your care, your love is selective, it's not genuine. And anybody who could possibly think that Jesus, would Jesus ever leave a comment like this? Would Jesus ever think like this? No, no. That's a belief that I believe came from mommy and daddy or some uh, just, and there's a lot of Christians who actually are so hate-filled, hateful, 
and yet they call themselves Christians. It's scary. You know, on this Twitter page, you people are losing their homes. There's one uh, tweet from someone who said, Grandma just lost her home. The neighborhood is going up in flames. But that Christian, he thinks about the homos and the rich men and want them to burn to death. Fire on all sides of us. Thomas Fire threatening my home. Incredibly tragic what is happening. Our beautiful home is burning. And look at this picture of this fire. Um, I'm sorry, this fire looks uh, like something is not quite right here with all of the different colors the raging fires thousands to flee alright I'm sorry for going on people are in need of real help Many people are in need of real help. And I have to say, I love coming across comments from, uh, and did it here, Grandma lost her home of 50 years. The devastation in her neighborhood is unreal. Many lives changed in a way nobody could have predicted. And yes, we will see people posting videos. The trees, the bushes, Still fine, but the cars, the homes, gone. I've looked at these fires, and God, it's like just being back eight weeks ago. But this motorist who died fleeing the fire, is he one of those who hates God and God killed him? or a sodomite, a gay guy, a rich man, and you don't have any compassion when you read something like this? Because when I read something like this, I think to myself, I put myself in that car as the motor is trying to get out of a fire, and then having that fire kill me, and how much pain I would be in. And it literally just brings on this visceral response of, oh my God. And you don't wish that on anyone. Except if you're a Christian who is just has a heart of hate. Jesus would never, ever think that, feel that, want that. Spotty fires all over. Unusual. This fire. Homes, if you watch the news footage, homes are burning up in, neighbor, in neighborhoods. But had the fire get there? So you see this home burning up, engulfed in flames, the neighbor's home next to it engulfed in flames, but there's another home across the street in uh, clearly burning. You see the smoke, but how did the fire get there? How did the fire get there when you see when they begin to zoom out there's there's no fire surrounding these homes is it smart meters 
Yes, I mean, there is a possibility that the winds were so strong that they did carry ember, burning ember, over to a home. And now it's engulfed in flame. But when you see it in so many different areas, and if you just scroll through this three hour and 45 minute video, you will see that this is happening in so many different neighborhoods. One home burning up, or homes in a neighborhood, but they're isolated homes. The homes around them, no evidence of fire, except for this home on fire. Well, where did the fire come from? And if you just keep scrolling through, you'll see it over and over. Isolated fires, homes burned to the ground, trees around them fine. Yeah, we're living exactly the same scenario that we lived eight weeks ago. Yes, horses evacuated. But when you look even here, you'll see once again these homes that are burnt but then when they zoom out you, you're like okay how did the fire get there because you're not seeing the fire's path to burn up those homes I'm sorry for going on I'm sorry for making these videos so long This is hard. And for those of us who are completely alone, we have no one to talk to. I guess we do go and talk to our subscribers or, you know, just, I, I will tell you, I'm having trouble taking all of this destruction. And no, I really don't, you know, I guess I could call subscribers and but I don't want to burden any individual you know with how I feel just posting a video you can choose to not watch the videos you can choose to just go on to another video no one individual is burdened I'm sure it's hard on a lot of you to watch this. We are at war. And I don't see any way to fight it. Not when we have so many Americans who are still just refusing, refusing to see the obvious. Refusing even to entertain a conversation, refusing to do the research because they know without doing any research. They know what's going on and they're completely ignorant. And as this continues, yeah, as I speak, we now have more Americans suffering the consequences. It's heartbreaking.